Today I'm a little bit torn apart because this video is a little bit uh, different. I probably often say that this video is a little bit different and it ends up not being that different actually. But you see, I want to make sure which guy I am. You see, I made some videos that I was making fun of crypto YouTubers and many people would be like, I'm exposing people. Right? I never expose people. You know, I never researched. It was like just obvious. You see, I felt that there is some things that are not necessarily moral with crypto, a little bit wrong, and people getting hooked up on these wrong things, and it cost them money. So I made fun of these things. But when it comes to crypto, since I got into this, I was bullish on crypto. You see, and I think there is a problem. Because there is a problem of hating on the things happening in crypto too far calling everything a scam without actually being reasonable with this. And there's this guy, CoffeeZilla, I mentioned him before, and I like CoffeeZilla, you know, he was exposing many, exposing many fake gurus. And I feel recently it's going a little bit too far, so I'm opening YouTube, and you see I'm seeing this video, not this ad right now, so I know, still not ad block. I've heard it many times, and sorry, for the jacket here is cold and I'm lazy to put it back. Um, so here is this video, you know, and we're not gonna watch it. You can watch it by yourself. And I'm surprised actually by this likes dislike ratio. That's probably a fan. And I will talk about the problem with guys like CoffeeZilla, maybe, how they cut themselves out from the opportunities. You see, and this video is about the Post Malone promoting MoonPay. And in the title, it sounds so bad, right? That there is something sketchy about it, but there is actually nothing sketchy about it. It's a very positive fact that he did this sponsorship, like, because it's actually no bad thing at all. And I don't know why some people would search for some uh, kind of, you know, I don't know, it's like, Praying on this, feeding um, the the viewers with this, and and bringing the certain misunderstanding to the subject. So the promotion of the MoonPay is it, it relates to the video, the Post Malone video. He he made the music video with the Weekend. I like them both. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Weekend, right? And in this video, you can actually see that the Post Malone is using the mobile app. You see, uh, for five seconds he uses MoonPay and he's buying the board Ape. So what's the situation here? Uh, the MoonPay is basically the app, it's not a token, no nothing, it's the app where you can purchase the crypto, that's it. So what's wrong about actually having the, the sponsorship in the video? Like, there, there is nothing. So this video is about how much Post Malone got paid for promoting MoonPay. So this is simply product placement. First of all, product placement is nothing new. When Coca-Cola came to existence, nearly every single movie had Coca-Cola in the movie. People were drinking Coca-Cola. You have product placement in the TV seri series shows, people using the Apple computers, people using the other computers, people using mobile phones, people drinking the certain brand of a drink. This is all product placement and it's nothing new. It's always been around. If you look back for a few years ago, the music videos, everyone in the music videos was drinking Ciroc vodka, right? It was product placement. It wasn't the fact that they're drinking it because they like it was product placement. And they were getting paid for it. And the Ciroc vodka was basically sponsoring the video because not sure if you know, but the people need to get paid. So here is the Post Malone doing basically the brand deal that is nothing new and getting paid by this app that allow people to buy crypto. And this video is all about that Post Malone total received 175 ETH, which is valued at around 750K. And how much is that? And how bad is this, right? I, I'm not sure if it's like bad, but th that's too much. And it's like, the value of Post Malone is really high. The 70, 750K is not that much when you think of the brand value, because 
everyone in this video, in two days, five million people watched this video. Everyone saw the Moonpay and everyone saw the Ape. Over time, this video might get into 100 millions. Not sure if it will happen. But the, this value, the 750k, is not much. In fact, it wasn't even paid in cash. It was paid in Ethereum. So probably Post Malone, he's like, hey, I like ETH. Pay me in this. It's, it's probably easier for you. So they transferred the ETH. They gifted him the ape. So actually, I think it's 100 ETH plus, plus ape. Right? That, that, that was the deal. So it's not that much. It's actually a good thing. And you know, because for this video, they had to pay in cash. So he was like, yeah, pay me in ETH and I'm going to spend and, uh, you know, me and um, my label, we are going to spend cash on, on production. We are we are going to cover the, the production cost, right? So actually, why people would look for something bad in the things that there's nothing bad? And I never would like to be associated with this, with exposing the things that are not bad at all. And this guy, like, you know, CoffeeZilla compares it to like, hey, it's ne only a little bit cheaper than paying in Super Bowl ad. Like, hey, Post Malone is not legitimate. The music video is not legitimate. Super Bowl is only one thing when the ads are valuable. Hell no, the Post Malone is A-lister. The weekend is A-lister. This is the great ad they did. I mean, ad, the product placement. They knew what they're doing. Why would you search for the problem when there is no problem? It's something bad. So I want to say, hey, I'm not the guy to expose things. I will talk about things that I feel are this moral, right? I will talk about things when I see, hey, I think this person do a pump and dump. But this, this is not one of these things. I think this thing is super positive because it shows that the crypto apps, the world of the NFTs, is going mainstream. That's how it gets adapted, right? The crypto.com that they signed the deal for 20 years having the Staples Center, uh, will, which will be renamed to crypto.com center or arena, I don't know, right? It's like saying, hey, that's a scam! The crypto cannot do it! It's positive, okay? The Matt Damon in Crypto.com ad, we could say, how dare he? How dare he? It's good thing. Okay, so let's not be, um, people are calling me bitter sometimes, you know, and maybe I overjudge something sometimes, I don't know. I'm just a guy, I'm trying to be reasonable, but above all, I always try to be objective about what I do. S not always I am, you know, because I'm me. But when it goes to general things, I hope I'm being at least a little bit objective and I want to stay this way. And I hope you will be this way and you will not see everything as the like bad thing scam. The fact that this money, how dare he made money? While CoffeeZilla cut himself away a little bit because he cannot create a token, he cannot create a DAO because he was calling crypto everything. Like, like if you call these things bad, how you could make your, your DAO, for example, in the future, so only one way for him to monetize is sell the merch. Who the hell need merch? Seriously. Um, so I, I'm having a little break from the videos because I'm actually quite busy uh, with my retouching job. I'm, I'm doing this, but hopefully uh, soon will be more one, uh, once I'm sort, I will sort this out. Hope you all doing well until the next time.